ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. What's the hardest fight of your career? The hardest fight of my career, uh, I would say it was <clears throat> it was between Willie Moreau and fighting Jamal Charlo. Willie Moreau, because he was the first left-handed guy I've ever fought in my whole career. And then leading up to fighting uh, Willie Moreau, I had only two people that I can actually spar with to help prepare for the fight. And both those guys, one fought at 120, 122. And then the other guy was just entirely too small. Well, yeah, one was for 122 and the other guy was at 130. So I couldn't really- So you had shitty fight. sparring. Uncle Lukey yeah. will say it. You had sparring yeah. that was completely yeah. useless. Uh-huh. And so then, when, so when I went and I fought Willie Monroe- Who's I big as hell. I couldn't understand when me and him was fighting the fact that, uh, uh, because I was sparring with these guys who was, you know, Southpaw, but they weren't elusive. They weren't, they didn't give me the look that he gave me. And I didn't even recognize that, that he was even, you know, uh, well, that they were Southpaw. I didn't even recognize that they were Southpaw. I'm left-handed. Nobody ever knows that. Even though you, I'll write right in front of them and, it, and they'll be like, oh, he's a right hand. He's right-handed. I go, all right. But uh, fighting Willie Monroe because he kept throwing small little tappets, making noises. And I'm fighting him, which I consider his hometown. I fought him in Turner Stone. He's from New York. Uh, uh, what are you, Roch uh, Roch Rochester. Rochester. I mean, Willie's Willie's a, a guy yeah. that I've known for a long time, and I like Willie a lot. He, but like he's from Rochester, New York. Yeah. So when I went out there and I fought him, and you know, to the whole fight and everything, I kept hearing everybody kept telling me, "Look, man, he's only like an hour away. He's only an hour away from his hometown, dude. You're gonna have to knock this kid out." So when I went there and I fought, I didn't think about trying to box him. I just went up in there trying to swing away because I knew what was going on, but I didn't really know. I didn't know, I didn't understand like, no, you could have, uh, you know, you, you didn't have to try to throw, you know, everything you had in one punch. But then again, I was such a baby in boxing. I was learning. These were steps that actually needed to help groom me because after I lost to Woody Monroe, I had looked back at the fight and I kept, you know, in my teeth saying like damn dude where did I go wrong and I was like yo he kept throwing small little punches and them little punches that he was throwing regardless of whether he was trying to hit me hard or not I remember those punches like they were yesterday they were small little like pity pats up on my face but it was enough to make me blink and close my eyes and then he was like when he did hit me with a punch he'll push me it was never a punch where I felt like boom like damn this dude cracked my eyes it was always more so of like, yo, man, he's pulling me, he's pushing me off balance, he'll tie me up. At a, that experience. You know, like, yeah, so he gave me a, a, a boxing lesson that I that I've never knew existed at that time, honestly. Uh, and I learned from that fight. And then I, I kind of, you know, uh, took everything that I learned, like doing up, you know, just keeping my hands busy, moving at different angles, and then learning a whole lot more about myself. 